Hi, I'm Eddie Maguire and welcome to Discover Your Own Backyard here for the Hume City. Well, many of you people would realise that I'm an old Broadmeadows boy. I grew up in this area. In fact, this Broadmeadows Valley Park is where I used to have a kick of the footy. Jakarta Reserve over there, yabbing in the creek behind me, frisbee, cricket, football, you name it. We played it here and had many a barbecue and picnic in this area. There are so many gems in Hume City that it's time that people started to realise just what we've got on our doorstep. Just 25 minutes from the CBD, the Hume City area has so much to give to so many people. So let's catch up with some of my colleagues as we discover some of the hidden delights of Hume City. Hi, I'm Andrew Clark. I'm the CEO at Living Legends based here in Hume City. I've been working here for approximately six years. Living Legends is really a showcase for the legends of the turf. It's a place where the retired racehorses go and there's the opportunity for fans to get up close to and pat their champion, pat a Melbourne Cup winner, a Cox Plate winner, the great winners of the historic races in Australia. You know, we've got one of the most historic thoroughbred properties in the Southern Hemisphere. We've got a homestead where you can come in for Devonshire teas, host your functions and events where Burke and Wills have been. We're surrounded by 1,700 acres of parkland. You know, there's kangaroos, there's birds, and all of this right over the back fence from Melbourne Airport so you can spot planes as well. Some of the great things to see and do near Living Legends are actually in Woodlands Historic Homestead and Park, which surrounds the property. So you've got the remains of the Dundonald, the Cumberland Homesteads, there's up on the granite rocks, you've got great views across Melbourne. You can bike ride to and from the um, Docklands without actually going onto any roads. There's horse riding, running, walking, and all this among the, the historic red gums and kangaroos. Yeah, when we have friends and family coming to visit, we know we're only 25 to 30 minutes from the centre of the city, five minutes from Melbourne Airport. So we focus on nature and heritage really. So we come to the homestead, enjoy the horses, then we'll go on to say the Emu Bottom Wetlands, enjoy the walks, the picnic opportunities there, go on to some of the wineries, pop in and see the Alistair Clark Rose Garden. So our focus in Hume is very much on the um, history, the heritage and the nature walks. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. My husband John and I are the proud owners of Goonawarra and we have been here almost 30 years. Goonawarra was originally a vineyard and then transformed into a dairy. When we took over this heritage property 30 years ago, we decided to restore it back to a winery and function centre. When we have uh, our friends come and stay with us, we head for the Sunbury Visitor Information Centre. It is just a wealth of information. I think it's one of the best in the state. The Sunbury Wine Region produces some wonderful cool climate wines and in particular is noted for its award-winning Shiraz. So come and enjoy a glass of wine or a lazy lunch. Hi, my name is Holly Hills and I'm a Sunbury resident. I really enjoy coming to the festivals and events within Hume, particularly the Craigie Burn Community Festival. Some of my favourite things about the Craigie Burn Community Festival include the multicultural activities and entertainment, I also really like the diverse range of food that they have. I love that it's got a great location, it's right in the heart of Craigie Burn Centre and it's easily accessible as well. Hume has so many wonderful events and festivals, dating all the way back to the iconic Sunbury Pop Festival from the 1970s. All year round, Hume offers plenty of events for the whole community, including the Broadmeadows Fiesta, the Hume Carols by Candlelight, the Hume Festival of Music, as well as plenty of other community events. Hi, my name is Jeff Tura, and I established the Anatolian Restaurant located here in the Broadmeadows Shopping Centre in 2006. 
People can expect to feel as if they were located somewhere in Istanbul having a nice meal. Uh, there is a warm, open kitchen feel. I chose Hume City because I found the people to be very down to earth and sincere here. So when my family and friends visit us, we make sure we bring them to the Anatolian restaurant to start with. Uh, we go picnicking and barbecuing at Greenvale Reserve, the Jack Roper Reserve. Uh, we take them sightseeing to Mount Ridley, which has some beautiful views of Melbourne City. Hume City is undeniably rich with its multicultural communities, which is reflected in a wide range of dining experiences on offer. So that's Hume City. We've got wineries, parks, history, attractions, events and cultural diversity. So come and discover Hume for yourself and find your own hidden gems.